I'm really grateful to be able to live a life where I can appreciate the beauty of nature. I like to spend my time outdoors, and this has not robbed me of that in any way. I'll never be the same person, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. My name is Vicki Grandy. I'm a four-year survivor of ovarian cancer. I was diagnosed in the summer of 2019. I was kind of an emotional wreck. I just wanted to cry a lot. And then I would get really angry and kind of see myself as this little fighting tiger. I spent many, many hours just kind of in a state of fear, kind of a panicked feeling. I received what I thought was excellent care, wonderful oncologist, and I went into remission, had a very clean bill of health for about a year and a half, and then I had a recurrence. I have been out of treatment for nine months, and I haven't had any real chemo in a year and a half again. So I've been able to live a pretty normal life. My husband, Steve, has been there for me and kept me from feeling sorry for myself on some of those days when I refused to get off the couch. He's dragged me off the couch. And my friend Gina, who was involved with the Alliance before that, she was one of the first people that I called. And I didn't realize this was the mission statement at the time. She just said, we're here for you. And I was like, oh, I like that. That's good. You know, to me, the support group is kind of the heart and soul of the Alliance. This sisterhood of women who get together once a month and we talk about cancer. We're done talking about cancer to all our friends. Our husbands are tired of talking about cancer, but we are still living with it and we are figuring out how to keep living with it, how to cope with hair loss, funky ports that don't work, how to get upstairs when you're really feeling anemic and weak, everything. And the mentorship program for me was a lifeline at a time when I was the least emotionally stable, spending a lot of time crying in my car. It's hard to keep your sense of humor, you know, when you're throwing up all over the place and your hair's gone and people are all looking at you with these shocked, worried stares. So to connect with somebody who's just like, oh, you're doing the, you know, the interperitoneal therapy? Wait do you see how big you are when you get out of that session? That kind of thing, just somebody who's just like there. I want to be there for people who haven't had the kind of support that I've been able to have. And I'm looking forward to continuing spending the time with the people in my life who I adore, doing the things that are most meaningful to me outdoors. I've had a great life. I just want it to continue on the same path.